Hello, I'm Total Mass Destruction, and welcome back to another Paths video. Uh, this time, got a different camera, hoping it's okay how it's set up. Unfortunately, you can always see a glare on my glasses because glasses are the bane of videoing. Anyway, videoing, we're back on a path. This time, we got the Monster Dog Interactive Story, which is also now he's changing it to video story slash game. So, this one's about a monster dog. Came out about a week ago. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I do think I'm trying to do a live action where you can see me, uh, no matter what type of video it is, live action skit, a past video, something like that, once a week, and I'm planning on releasing on Wednesday like I did today. Yeah, I guess let's just get into this one, right? Oh boy. You're at the dog park right now. Mm -hmm. It's just you and your dog. Okay. You two won first place at a dog show this past weekend. Crazy. It's no big deal though, since you already won 13 before this one. You two haven't lost a single competition. Awesome. After jumping through a hoop in the dog park, your dog starts to turn into some kind of monster. His eyes slowly turn red, his body doubles in size, and his muscle mass severely increases. Mm. He runs around the dog park in random directions as his body finishes its metamorphosis. Now when we talk about big dog, are we talking about like the blob monster from Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed where Scooby turns into that monster while taking into different chemicals? Or are we talking about the big pug from that one show which I forgot? Um about the apocalypse. Which type of dog are we talking? It all depends. Whatever it is, it's not your dog anymore. False. Well, the dog you know and love is probably in there somewhere. Yep. There's something about that hoop that changed your dog. Hoop. Other competitors at the dog shows were starting to get annoyed that you win all the time. Did one of them set up the magic that did this to your dog? The magic. They know you come here to train at times when the dog park isn't busy. Technically, anyone could have done it though. I want to be in a world. I want to live in a world. Unlike our world, because our world sucks. I want to live in a world where you can go, damn, someone probably set up this magic. You know? I, like, we got the lamest reality. There's realities with Spider-Man that are reality. There's realities with, 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 what, magic? Where you just go, someone, someone's messing with my dog. They got, they set up the magic. I want to be in that reality where I go, Someone blew up my house with magic. <laughs> Ever since magic became more than just fantasy, things like this have happened. See? This kind of magic might be reversible, though. If you want your dog back, having it jump through the hoop again might work. What hoop? The monster dog starts to chase you after its transformation. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Do you want to try and use the hoop to bring your dog back? Or do you want to escape the dog park so that you're not stuck in here with it? As oh. it is now, the monster dog will just barely fit through the hoop again. So it's leave my dog and the dog park, or use the hoop and try to save my dog. Personally, I don't know a hoop. I guess like maybe you jump through the hoop and then it turned started. I, I wasn't paying attention. My fault. I say, let's use the hoop. <laughs> uh, what's the worst that could happen? I don't even have to do anything. I just let this one play out. I use the hoop. Run towards the hoop. There's not much to do except find a way to get the monster dog's body to go through the hoop again. Mm -hmm. You're hoping that the magic of the hoop will make your dog normal. Mm -hmm. Whoever set up the magic on the hoop probably assumes you won't be able to get the monster dog to go through it. False. Once you reach the hoop, you quickly examine the bottom pole that it's attached to. It's lodged into the turf of the dog park. If you wanted, you could pull the bottom pole of the hoop out of the turf and swing the whole thing at the monster dog. As long as you could pull it out of the ground and swing it as the monster dog reaches you, you should be good. That plan requires okay. a lot of things to go right, though. Yeah. Another option would be to crouch behind the hoop, with the hoop in between you and the monster dog. If the monster dog is keen on catching you, it would have to jump through the hoop to get you, right? Okay. There's a lot of risk with that plan, too. The monster dog will reach you in a few seconds. Do you want to pull out the hoop and swing it, or crouch behind it and wait? Man, you got me asking questions out here. You know, I like to think I'm a hero, but I know these don't turn out well if you try to be a hero. So I'm going to try and uh, crouch behind the hoop, which is, what, 534? You crouch down right behind the hoop. Okay. Run through it as the monster dog charges at you. Got it. It just it eats me. It doesn't look like the monster dog is very smart, but maybe it is. Instead of jumping through the hoop to get you, it just runs around it. Perhaps it was just following its instincts. In the split second that you realized it wasn't going to jump through the hoop, you got out of your crouching position and started running. You tried to escape the dog park but the monster dog is closer to you than it's ever been. Was it really the jealousy of the people who lost at all those dog competitions that caused all of this? Did I just die? You never get a good answer to that, but you wish you did. 
As you would expect from any encounter involving a vicious monster, you didn't survive. The monster dog wreaks havoc around town for a little while, but finally gets captured and reverted back to normal by a nearby animal hospital. Your dog is never signed up for any more dog shows. Oh, it was wild! Uh, I died. I can't believe it. Uh, it's not like I died normally in these videos. So yeah, I, I like these videos. These are very fun. If you want to check them out, he has like he's getting a lot more now. He's at Paths, P A T H S, um, and he has a bunch of videos up there. So go ahead and you can try try and get different endings. There's five endings on this one. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If not, that's cool too. As long as you're enjoying yourself and you enjoyed this video, uh, thank you for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.